now we will study about the most important topic of this chapter that is test of divisibility so here we will check that how a number is divisible by any other number so here are the numbers and here is the divisibility rules so first is how we will check that the number is divisible by 10 so the rule for this is if the number is ending with 0 agar koi bhi number 0 mein end ho it means that is divisible by 10 like this 50 in 50 it is ending at 0 it means this number is divisible by 10 now next is how to check whether a number is divisible by 5 so in this case the rule is if the number is ending with either 0 or 5 agar koi bhi number 0 ya 5 mein end ho raha it means that is divisible by 5 like this number 25 it is ending at 5 it means it is divisible by 5 and another number 30 it is ending at 0 so it is also divisible by 5 now next is the divisibility rule for 2 so the rule is if the number is ending with 0 2 4 6 or 8 agar koi bhi number 0 2 4 6 ya 8 mein end ho raha it means that number is divisible by 2 like this number 248 it is ending at 8 it means this number is divisible by 2 now next is the divisibility rule to check whether a number is divisible by 4 so the divisibility rule is if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4 agar koi bhi number ke last two digit jo hai wo 4 se divisible hai it means that whole number is divisible by 4 like this example 424 in this the last two digit is 24 so 24 comes in the table of 4 4 6 are 24 it means this whole number 424 is divisible by 4 now next is the divisibility rule for 3 so if the sum of the digits of the number is a multiple of 3 अगर किसी भी नंबर के डिजिट्स का सम करेंगे हम और सम करने के बाद अगर वो नंबर 3 से डिवाइड हो रहा है या फिर 3 के टेबल में आता है दैट मींस दैट नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय 3 लाइक दिस एग्जांपल 324 सो इन दिस 324 व्हेन वी विल सम द डिजिट्स 3 2 4 3 2 इज 5 एंड 5 4 इज 9 so 9 comes in the table of 3 3 3 is a 9 it means this whole number 324 it is divisible by 3 now next is the divisibility rule for 6 so the rule is if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 agar koi bhi number 2 or 3 dono se divisible hai it means that is divisible by 6 also like 36 in 36 the number is ending at 6 it means it is divisible by 2 and the sum of the digit is 3 plus 6 is equals to 9 3 plus 6 is equals to 9 it means it is also divisible by 3 so it is divisible by both 2 and 3 it means it is also divisible by 6 now next is the rule for 8 so the divisibility rule for 8 is if the number formed by the last three digit is divisible by 8 agar koi bhi number ke last three digits 8 se divisible hai it means wo pura number divisible hoga 8 se next is the divisibility rule for 9 so if the sum of the digit of the number is a multiple of 9 ye rule same hai divisibility rule of 3 ki tarah it means sum of the digits aap karke dekhoge agar wo sum divisible hoga 9 se it means the whole number is divisible by 9 so it is same like the rule for 3 
now next is divisibility rule for 11 so if the difference between the sum of the digit in the odd places and the even places is 0 or a multiple of 11 it means हम even numbers में जो digit है उनका sum करेंगे and odd numbers में जो digit है उनका sum करेंगे और उनको subtract करने के बाद अगर हमें 0 मिलता है it means that number is divisible by 11 let us understand this with the help of this example that is 1 3 3 1 so first we will do the sum of the digit in the odd places so in the odd places 1 and 3 okay so 1 plus 3 is equals to 4 now in the even places the digits are 3 and 1 so 3 plus 1 is equals to 4 now we will subtract this 4 minus 4 so 4 minus 4 is equals to 0 0 mil right it means ye pura number divisible hoga 11 se so this is the divisibility rule to check whether a number is divisible by 11 so children listen you have to understand and learn all these rules then only you will be able to check whether a particular number is divisible by any number